Hey everyone, John here with DroidLessons.com and for today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can transfer files wirelessly to and from your Android device. So what you're going to want to do first is here on your main screen is go to your Android market. I'm going to click the market icon right here on my desktop and I'm going to search for an app by either clicking the search button on the top right or by clicking the menu button on my device and then clicking search and I'm going to type in an app called web sharing and you'll see that uh, one appears called web sharing light file and media sync now that's the app that we're going to want to install it's free on the Android market it gets a uh, it's got four and a half stars close to five star rating so that shows that it's really good and you can uh, scroll down here to the bottom to see uh, what people are saying about it it's usually uh, nothing but good things on here uh, but you'll see up here you can uh, scroll all the way to the top here and click on the free button to install and then click OK to accept the permissions and now it's going to go ahead and download And now after it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and click it to get it started. And you'll see here it says web sharing is not active. So I haven't clicked the start button on the bottom right yet. Uh, but the reason is I want to show you here. You'll see it says connected to Wi-Fi network. Now uh, on mine it says connected to Wi-Fi network J5 because that's the name of my wireless network. But uh, at your house it'll probably be something different depending on what you named your wireless router but um, if for some reason it's not showing it's connected it could be that your wireless is turned off so make sure your wireless is activated on your device and uh, make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi network and once you are you'll see here it says ready to share on and then it'll give you the IP address of what you need to type in on your web browser on your PC so you'll want to type in uh, actually it's a little hard to see on my screen here let me try let me try exiting and going back in here. See if it shows up a little better. There you go. It says uh, HTTP slash slash 192.168.1.6 colon 2112. So that's what I would want to type in on my web browser on my computer. And once I did that, after I clicked the start button on the bottom left here, I'm going to click start. So that starts uh, sharing files. If I go to my computer now and type in that address, HTTP colon slash slash 192, so on and so forth, you'll be able to see all the files that are on your Android device. You'll be able to upload files or download files from the device. And you'll also have it password protected. As you can see on the screen here, it says for owner access, enter password 4927D. So that's what the password would be right now if I was trying to connect to my phone from my computer. I would have to type in that password and that password is usually randomly uh, generated so it might not be the same the next time you use it. Once you're done doing the file transfer that you need to do you'll want to click the stop button and then it goes ahead and turns off the Wi-Fi and you are no longer connected to your computer and uh, if you try to go to that address it won't work until you once again hit the start button and it's uh, pretty simple you'll see that uh, you can transfer any type of files that you like music videos um, documents anything you can think of you'll be a you'll be able to transfer wirelessly and this is all for free so uh, I think this is a great app and I use it quite often and I hope it comes in handy for you guys and if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below and uh, make sure to check out droidlessons.com again in the future for more lessons and tutorials Thanks for visiting and hope you have a great one.